Today we're gonna to take a look at this very cool microphone, the OC81H from Austrian Audio. Hey, what's going on? Chris Salim here from Mixdown Online. Now, before we jump in and we talk about this very nice microphone, if you're new here on the channel, feel free to subscribe to the channel and to click the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And if you enjoy and like this video, please share and like. Okay, now let's talk about Austrian Audio. That is a brand new microphone company based in Vienna, Austria. Now, most of the people that started Austrian Audio used to work for a microphone company called AKG that you probably heard of. The microphone production of AKG used to be based in Vienna, but the company decided to move that elsewhere. So those ex-AKG employees decided to start a new company and stay in Vienna, and they called it Austrian Audio. And they came out with the OC818. Now, just so you know, I am using the OC818 to record my voice for the full video. So you have a very good idea right off the bat on how this microphone sounds like using my voice. Um, so uh, first, what we're going to look at is I'm going to look at what comes with the microphone, um, all of the specs of the microphone. Then I'm going to cover the high technology part of this microphone and show you the optional uh, Bluetooth dongle that you can use to remote control the parameters of the microphone. So this is going to come later on also. Then we're going to listen to some samples that I recorded with the microphone and also I'm going to show you a very cool uh, very cool plugin that comes with the OC818 that can do some wonderful things okay so more on that later so first let's look at what comes with the OC818 uh, first we have a carry-on case which is made of metal inside the case we have the microphone of course uh, then we have the shock mount that is custom based for the OC818. We have a firm non-absorbent mount. Then we have the XLR to mini XLR adapter cable. More on that later. And then the windscreen, which can be used as a pop filter. So let's try that one on. Now I did some comparison testing before the video. And the only thing that I noticed is um, that you have a slightly tame in the highs when you have the pop, uh, the pop filter or windscreen on the mic. Uh, but still sound very good. So this is the windscreen that comes with the OC818. So I'm just gonna, you know, take it off. And to finish, we have a small quick guide. Now, if you look at the microphone itself, it looks very modern. It has a full uh, metal body and the build is also of high quality. If we look at the capsule, now the capsule is a handmade a CKR12 a ceramic capsule. Uh, that is dual membrane also. So that means that uh, you have access to several polar patterns. We're gonna look at that in a minute. And because on how the CKR12 capsule was designed, you can actually use any OC818 microphone and match, pair them with another OC818 microphone and it's gonna work. Okay, so this is very cool. Now, if you look at the front of the microphone itself, we have some parameters that we can work with. Uh, to start with, on the top row, we have different polar patterns that we can switch from directly on the microphone. So first we have figure eight pattern, then hypercardioid, then cardioid with a dual cardioid pattern that I'm gonna to explain to you later. Also omnidirectional, and the remote control uh, pattern that also I'm gonna explain to you later. Then on the bottom row, we have the high pass filter that goes from zero to 40 Hertz, 80 Hertz and 160 Hertz. Then we have two switchable pads, one at minus 10 and the other one at minus 20. If we look at the back of the microphone, we have the dual mini XLR output. More on that in a minute. Uh, now, the microphone itself can handle a maximum of 148 dB SPL, which is quite loud. So that means that you're, uh, you're going to be able to record some loud instruments with this microphone. It will need a supply voltage of 48 volts. So that means that you're going to need to activate the phantom power if you want to work with this microphone. Now let's look at the optional device that you can get to remote control the OC818. And this one is called the OCR8 Bluetooth dongle. 
Once you have the dongle, what you need to do is to plug it into the back of the microphone directly into the mini XLR outputs. Then you download the application on your iPhone or Android. And this is what it looks like from my phone. So, um, uh, like I told you, you have access to all the parameters of your, mi of your microphone that you can control remotely. Very useful. Um, so if we look on the top, we have the polar patterns that we can switch around. And the cool thing is that you have more than access to uh, the base uh, polar patterns that we have physically on the microphone. Uh, we can also uh, have all of the in-between values uh, between figure eight to hypercardioid, for example. So uh, let's go to a figure eight uh, pattern. Okay, so bring that to the left. And this is what I get. So now my microphone is in figure eight, meaning that it is gonna record the front and back of the microphone by rejecting the sides. Um, and look, look at what I have here. If I bring it closer to a cardioid pattern, I'm gonna have access to all of the in-betweens, okay? So I can actually set that up to, you know, this value instead. Um, which is quite nice. So it gives you the chance to play around all the, um, the different polar patterns and all the in-between. So you have access to, I think, to uh, more than 255 polar patterns, I believe, um, which makes this very, very cool. So now let's uh, bring that up to omnidirectional. Now the polar pattern is set up to omnidirectional, so that means that the microphone is gonna capture everything around uh, its capsule, you know, back, forth, sides, and everything. Now on top of remotely control the polar pattern, uh, we can also control the high pass filter. Okay, so now this one is set up to 40 Hertz. I'm gonna bring that up to 160. So there you go. Now I have a high pass filter set up to 160 Hertz. I'm gonna bring that back to 40. And we also have access to the two switchable pads, one at minus 10, which is this one, and one at minus 20, which is this one. So the sound should be quieter at this point. I'm gonna bring that back to zero. Now the question is with this very cool dongle, is it useful for your needs? And I think that's the reason why um, Austrian Audio didn't include the dongle in uh, with the original uh, package of the microphone, just because it, I don't think it's useful for everyone. If you're a live sound engineer, you will love working with the Bluetooth dongle to control the, the parameters of the microphone. Uh, just imagine a situation where you're the front of house engineer, you're mixing, you're, you're doing the sound check, and um, you know you have uh, the, uh, oh, uh, the OC818 uh, on a guitar amp, and you just want to tweak the pad or you know the high pass filter around, maybe the polar pattern. Uh, you can do everything using your phone without leaving the mixing desk and going on stage. So it is a very practical tool, especially if you're a live sound engineer. Now in a recording studio situation, it can also be useful. Let's say your, uh, your recording room is further away from your control room. Using the app can help you to remote control uh, those parameters of the microphone. But there's also, in my opinion, a better option that you can use with the OC818 plugin that is very interesting. But first, we're gonna listen to some samples that I recorded with the OC818 uh, so you can have a better idea on how this microphone sounds like on different sources. C'est moi, si loin, si proche, peut-être faudrait-il qu'enfin je l'approche. L'autre, c'est toi, et ce n'est pas un reproche. 
Peut-être faudrait-il qu'à ta main je m'accroche. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. It's not warm when she's away. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. And she's always gone too long. And it's all. She goes away. Now let's look at the plugin that comes with the OC818. Um, now, to explain to you how that works, first you need to record with the two sides of the capsule active. Okay, so that means that you need to set up the microphone, the front side of the microphone, to the dual cardioid polar pattern mode. Okay, so this way you'll be able to record both sides of the capsule, uh, which is going to give you uh, the ability to work with the plugin uh, to change the polar pattern after the recording. And this is very impressive, okay? So you can make those decisions after the fact. So we'll dive into the plugin and I'm gonna show you what you can do with it. Uh, so what you need to do uh, as far as the connection goes is to connect your microphone, let's say in channel number one, and then you take your uh, mini XLR to XLR adapter cable and you plug that into the back of the microphone directly into the mini XLR output. And then the, you know, the full XLR uh, side of the cable, you're gonna plug into, let's say, uh, input number two out of your interface. Then in your DAW, you're gonna create yourself a stereo channel to record your signal, which is gonna be a mono signal, like an acoustic guitar in my case, or a vocal, or a guitar amp, and so on. So what I did in Cubase is to set myself a stereo bus, okay, a stereo in bus, uh, where the uh, left and right uh, is uh, uh, my first and second channel out of my interface. Then I create myself a stereo channel directly in Cubase uh, to record my mono instrument which was an acoustic guitar. And as an input for this channel, I set that up to stereo in. So now the left side of that signal is gonna be the front side of the microphone and the, the back side is gonna be recorded on the second channel, which is gonna be the right side of this uh, uh, waveform that you see right here. So the right side of the signal. So let's have a quick listen um, of the recording and I'm gonna bypass the plugin just to have you listen to what that sounds like. So as you can tell, most of the signal is coming out of the left side. And the right side is mainly what uh, has been recorded from the back of the microphone. Now, during the recording, that microphone was aiming, the front of the microphone was aiming uh, the guitar itself. So that's why we have a lot of signal on the left side and not the right side. Now I'm gonna activate the plugin and everything is gonna get back to the center as a regular mono signal. Oh, 
Okay, so now this is what we get with the Austrian Audio Polar Designer plugin. Uh, now, we have the ability to change, after the fact, the polar pattern of the signal. So I have all those uh, polar patterns that I can choose from, and I can also bring those down uh, to the, um, you know, to different polar pattern steps, like we've seen with the application uh, earlier in the video. Um, so this is very cool. So it gives you access to 255 different steps as far as polar pattern goes. So it's you know it gives you a lot of flexibility, and on top of that, you can um, you can change the polar pattern of a specific band of frequencies, and this is quite crazy, I have to admit. Um, you can change the band control, you know, to five bands, um, which is the default uh, setting, and you can change that to one band if you want to. And this is going to give you a one band option, you know, so a full frequency uh, range option. So that's it. And then you can go to two bands or and so on until you get to the maximum of five bands. Now, if we click on those uh, polar pattern icons, uh, this is going to switch the full band of frequencies uh, to this specific uh, polar pattern. Okay. So let's go from, uh, to start with, I'm going to go from cardioid to omni. Then I'm going to switch to figure eight. And then we're going to go and listen to the back of the microphone, okay, with this uh, polar pattern. So this is basically what you can do with the plugin. Now let's go a step further and play with those different bands of frequencies and adjust the polar patterns according to those different bands. Okay, now let's start with the first band of frequencies. That's interesting. On top of that, we have, uh, we can increase the volume of a specific band. Or of course, decrease. Now we also have a uh, parameter here on the plugin that is called the proximity control. And this is gonna allow you to add some proximity effect or reduce the proximity effect of the recording. Very nice, let's try it out. Man, this is quite impressive to tone shape a sound with different polar patterns, you know, on different frequency bands. Man, this is, this is genius. I love it. I really like the concept. Gives me the ability to tone shape my sound before even working with an EQ. That's great. 
kind of like that. And it keeps everything smooth, you know, um, which is very nice. Um, so this is what you get with this plugin that comes, that is included with um, the OC818 the condenser microphone. Now, just so you know, the microphone is fully analog. You know, even if you can uh, play with the plugin or control it remotely, there's no, you know, no uh, AD converters whatsoever. Everything is analog. What the application will do, you know, when we use the uh, uh, the phone app, it's going to control the amount of voltage sent to the capsule of the microphone to be able to change polar patterns and play with all those different parameters of the microphone. But it is a fully analog microphone just in case you are wondering love the microphone i love the sound of it it sounds open and smooth um i really liked it on uh, the guitar amp you know the clean guitar amp and of course the overdrive guitar amp recording was awesome sounded very good on male vocals it sounded great also on uh, the the female vocalist as well and uh, as a room mic for my drums, I fell in love with it. The way I, um, I recorded it, as you saw on my video, I just aimed the side, the one side of the microphone directly uh, at the front of the, the drum kit. And I used the uh, dual cardioid mode, recorded both signals left and right on channel one and two. And instead of using the app, I just recorded those two signals and blended those up and panned them left and right in my session to get the full stereo sound of my drums. Very cool. So this way you don't need to use two microphones to do that and you're never going to get any, uh, any phasing problems because everything is recorded from the same microphone capsule, which is great. Very, very impressive as a room drum mic. Now, is there any negative aspects of this microphone? I'll be honest with you. No, I didn't find any. So basically, I love this microphone. It sounds amazing and the technology behind it is quite impressive. This is not an entry level microphone. Okay, so it's gonna be a bit more pricey than a lot of microphones out there, but way cheaper than those high-end brands, you know, that we all know. So you can get yourself an OC818 condenser microphone for 999 US dollars, and also this little um, Bluetooth dongle for 149 dollars US. So there you go, my friend. This is my take on the OC818 from Austrian Audio. Leave your comments and questions down below, and if you want to know more about about the Austrian audio. I'm going to leave all the links in the description down below. All right, my friend, take care and until next time, see you.